Hi guys, this is Aditi. Hi, I am Manoj. And today we are doing a CGM food experiment video. Breakfast, Breakfast edition. edition. Okay, so today we'll be trying two different varieties of meals and we'll be checking our blood glucose levels with our already installed CGM devices which are right here. And we'll check how uh, different kinds of food or different combinations of food we'd be, would be affecting our blood glucose levels. So we are here, the food is here. Let's get started. We are done with our breakfast here and we will see you guys in the next two hours and we will check our blood glucose levels. Okay? Okay. Two hours later. Okay, so it's been two hours since we have had our breakfast at 9 o'clock in the morning and since then I have had a cup of green tea. I walked a bit and I have mostly been walking sitting on my desk. What about you? I did the same thing and uh, no green tea. Cool. Let's get to our CGM inside. Yeah, set. let's check. Please scan it. Open sugar fit app. Just open. Cool. So we do a quick scan. Yeah. So I'm going first. Okay? Ha, go. So my baseline reading right before starting my breakfast was 88 mg per dl then after one and a half hours it rose to 127 mg per dl which was also my highest spike throughout and after two hours I checked again and it went back to uh, 88 mg per dl and all these readings throughout have been within a safe range of uh, 80 to 140 mg per dl. So my baseline reading before breakfast was around 86 mg per dl and in next 90 minutes it rose up to 116 mg per dl which is my highest spike and then in 2 hours it dropped down to 90 mg per dl throughout the duration of these 2 hours all my readings were in the safe range of 80 to 140 mg per dl Oh wow, there has been like quite some differences yeah. between yours and mine reading, right? So it just very clearly states that how how blood glucose level and our food combinations differ individual to individual even after we have the same thing at the same time, right? Yeah, this is amazing. You're seeing your uh, glucose level in real time. Yeah, and it's so easy and so convenient. Like. Pain free, convenient, yeah. easy to use in real time, uh, glucose monitoring. monitoring. What else do you want, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, cool. Then we'll see you guys again tomorrow with another food combination and uh, we'll do this uh, quick activity yet again. Yeah, see you tomorrow. 24 hours later. Hey guys, we are on day two. And uh, today we'll be following meal sequencing um, by having two boiled eggs 10 minutes before our regular breakfast which has been idli vada and uh, I think I'm hungry, let's get yeah, started. <laughs> I'm also hungry. So let's eat now. 10 minutes later. Okay guys, so uh, we have our uh, idli and varas in front of us. We'll start, we'll start eating now. Same food. Um, we'll see you guys again in the next two hours and uh, we'll check our CGM readings. Two hours later. Okay guys, so it's been two hours since we have had our breakfast at 9 o'clock in the morning and now it's time to check our CGM insights. So I'll be opening my SugarFit app quickly. And Me too. Uh, I'll be scanning my CGM. Yes. Oh. Well, I think it's done. That's that quick. Mine is also done. Okay, so I'll get started with my readings first. So my baseline sugar level uh, just right before starting my breakfast today was 83 mg per dl. Then it again, like after 90 minutes, it rose up to 121 mg per dl, which was my highest sugar spike. And again, after two hours of having my breakfast, it came down to 82 mg per dl. And throughout this entire time, uh, my sugar level readings were within a safe range from 80 mg per dl to 140 mg per dl. Comparing it to yesterday's reading, my highest spike yesterday was 127 mg per dl and today it's 121 mg per dl. And it is quite good for the slight amount of variation we did with our breakfast. 
सो माई बेस लाइन ट्रेडिंग बिफोर टू डे ब्रेकफास्ट वॉज अराउंड एटी एट एम जी पर डी एल एंड नेक्स्ट नाइनटीन मिनट इट रोज अप टू वन हंड्रेड टेन एम जी पर डी एल विच इज माई हाइस्ट स्पाइक एंड देन इन टू आवर्स इट ड्रॉप डाउन टू नाइन्टी फाइव एम जी पर डी एल थ्रू आउट द ड्यूरेशन ऑफ दीज टू आवर्स ऑल माई रीडिंग वेयर इन द सेफ रेंट ऑफ एटी टू वन फोर्टी एम जी पर डी एल and what what was it yesterday 116 mg per dl wow so actually both of us saw uh, like slight uh, lesser peaks uh, in terms of our blood glucose levels yeah and i think that's because of the protein we had before our breakfast so yeah correct i think uh, because of the egg it goes slightly down yeah because of uh, from comparing to yesterday okay so i guess uh, this is how meal sequencing actually works so i think having a protein rich egg really helped us right before having our actual breakfast and it prevented those sudden spikes or uh, like the re spiking that i was seeing in my case so the lesson of the day is sequence, sequence your, your meal, meal right. right so that's it for today's video we will see you in the next one See ya. See you. Bye. Bye.